Good morning YouTube, usually the storms come down after a day or two, but seems like not this one. As you know, yesterday BG released a new, um, a new update, a new pack in the game that is called Unheard Edition. I'm not really gonna go talk about it too much in this video, but long story short, everyone is pissed about this edition because first of all, uh, EOD owners that were promised all the DLCs, all the future content for free, do not get the items do not get the things people get with the new edition. Uh, and secondly, this edition in, um, involves um, PvE offline co-op mode with save progress, uh, which EOD also didn't get. Uh, and this edition is $300 post-tax. And if you have EOD and you want to get this edition, you have to pay around $120 for the upgrade. And that's the main reason uh, why people are pissed. So that was a big storm. Uh, regarding this yesterday um, I decided I decided not to buy this edition because it, it just doesn't seem right for me I don't think that's fair so I'm still sticking to EOD um, I know I know I know some streamers upgraded and I don't blame them for it like they want to check it out they want to show to their viewers uh, but I feel like this is not the right thing to do and I didn't upgrade I will not be buying it and uh, today Literally 10 minutes ago, BG released a post on Reddit, well, Nikita in specific, uh, the update regarding EOD edition. So I'm gonna go through it, and I'll tell you what I think about it. So, hello Tarkov citizens. You know what, let me move my camera a little bit so you can see the text. As well as you can see my pretty or unpretty face, as I didn't get too much sleep. So, hello Tarkov citizens. To, to honor the owners of the EOD version and their indelible importance and the role in the EFT universe, we plan to add the following new unique features to the EOD edition. Faster return of insured, insured items. Okay, I think that is similar to what the new Unheard edition has. Increase personal trade of buying limits by 20%. Alright, so if you can buy 100 bullets per reset right now, you will be able to buy 120. Uh, sounds like a pay to win mechanic. Uh, even though people say there is no pay to win. Um, Alright. Increased basic PMC karma when it will be implemented. Well, this makes no difference right now. Access to unique hideout craft. We don't know what it is. Increased basic charisma skill. Well, doesn't really make any difference. Special quest line with increased pockets side as a reward. This is what I was talking about on stream yesterday. I said that if people can get all the items, all the things that the new edition has via questing, nobody would be as pissed. Um, I think this is a little bit unfair giving this only to EOD. I think everybody, um, any any game edition, uh, should be able to get pockets, increased pockets as a reward for a quest. I think that'd be very fair, not just EOD. Everybody should receive that every single edition. Ability to skip two daily quests per day free of charge. We can skip dailies. Okay. Unique dog tag. Uh, well, I guess if you die, your dog tag is going to be golden. Unique armband. Same as the same as the new edition. Unique set of clothing. Well, that's an interesting one because whenever BSG said they're adding new clothing to the website they added just a recolored old clothing like they took literally stock bear clothing um t-shirt the t-shirt is originally green they colored it black and they added it for like what like t t ten dollars or whatever so i don't know about uniqueness of the set of clothing hopefully they make something new i'm all in for skins i'm all in for new clothing and i'll talk about this in a second Unique legacy device, no no idea what it does, maybe um, maybe if your fence wrap is plus 6, scavs will stop shooting you from 70 plus meters, but I have no clue. High priority matching for EOD owners for 6 months. Access to offline PvE for EOD owners for 6 months. We'll provide those changes as fast as possible. Temporary access to PvE will, uh, PV will provide soon as well we're in for server infrastructure because uh, blah 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 blah. Um, there is very limited amount of servers for now. So this is the problem. We get high priority matching for six months. What happens after? We, we have to pay for it as EOD users. Like we have to upgrade to another edition. Same for the PVE offline mode for EOD users for six months. I don't feel like this is like, this is not right. You, 
you cannot give something to EOD users that will promise every single, every single thing for free for the rest of the uh, freaking universe and you give it for six months and then you revoke our access. So in other words, if I play for six months in this PvE mode, I'll get my PMC leveled up and everything and then what? Like my PMC just gets erased and like, I, I don't I don't understand it. I don't understand this six months thingy. It should be permanent. Like if you give something to EOD, which was promised to begin with uh, to, to, to be permanent and everything should be free for six months. I don't know. This is like, yeah, um, this is what you promised. Free access to all DLCs. Yeah, like this, this is the main thing. Like this is not why people are pissed. People are not pissed because the unheard edition is getting a lot of things and it's expensive. Like people are pissed because like they were promised everything in EOD. That's the reason why we bought EOD. Because everything was supposed to come free with EOD. All the DLCs, all the new updates. And this is not the case now. So this is what Nikita rolled out. I honestly believe the best way for BSG to do it would have been rolling back the um, the the kit, rolling back the addition, refunding all the money, and uh, providing all, everything everything that is in the new edition uh, for everyone for free. And if they want to make money, there is I don't know why BSG are not utilizing skins. For example, if they really need money, why not make different beards cosmetics that you can sell for real life money on the website? Why not make additional gloves? Why not make brand new brand new cosmetics? Not taking the old ones and reskinning them, which I think is a very lazy way to sell skins. Make the new ones. People, I would buy it. I would buy it. I have no problem with skins. As long as people uh, can get it and it doesn't influence the gameplay too much, like it's not a, I don't know, bro, a, a pink Nicki Minaj skin or whatever. As long as it stays with the universe. Like, for example, tats. You can get tats on your PMC. Just like Luhar boys have on them. I don't have a problem with this. If I can get Sturman jacket in the game via killing Sturman or paying $10 on the website, I don't have a problem with this either. You see where I'm going? So, I feel like there is another like there is another good way of um, making money instead of trying to do this. So, once again, I don't know. Um, yeah, the this doesn't really make me happy. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what to say. You you can share your comments down in the description below. But once again, as I said, I don't feel like this is right. Giving access for six months and then revoking it. And I'm also I'm also not buying the new edition. I will I will stick to EOD. Uh, not I don't really have much else to say. So thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video.